Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to reset and bypass the Google FRP security setup. So if you bought a phone like this, second hand, and you don't know the password to it or the Google account information, and you just don't know what to do, well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to bypass this. You don't need any fancy tools, no computers, nothing like that. And the best part is, it takes less than 10 minutes. So let me show you guys how to get this completed. Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and bypass the Google security feature on your LG device, and this works for some Samsung devices as well, and I'll go discuss that with you guys in a little bit of a variant, and if you're having FRP issue, this is exactly what this is for, so if you bought a phone secondhand and you're not able to go and access the Google store and you're basically locked out. I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be able to do this. And it's very, very simple. Before you start the bypass, you want to make sure your phone is factory reset. So if you don't know how, I have a video link down below on how you can reset your phone to factory with the exception of the Google requirements. We're going to show you how to do this now. You also want to make sure that the SIM card is out of the phone and you'll need Wi-Fi from a phone or your wireless internet in the house. And to do this, you want to use your Wi-Fi. In my case here, I'm just going to go ahead and use my mobile hotspot. So my mobile hotspot is on. The phone is booting up. And you can also use a regular router or your Wi-Fi at the house. And I'm going to show you guys the trick to this. All right, so my phone is booting up now for the very first time. And what happens is when I try to go ahead and connect, so you're going to have to connect to your mobile internet or your Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. And in my case, I'm going to go ahead and use my phone's hotspot. Or you can use your regular Wi-Fi at the house. Type in the Wi-Fi password for your mobile hotspot or your home Wi-Fi. Hit connect. And now that it's connected, you can go ahead and hit next. Okay, so you may get a message on your phone allowing you to copy data. I'm going to go ahead and hit don't copy. And it's going to ask for a password. I do not know what this password is. And I'm going to show you guys that even if you type in your correct Google account information, it's going to still lock you out because it needs the information for that exact account that was connected to this device. So I've gone ahead and put in my Google account number. I'm going to type in the password now. So I typed in the password for my account. And I even got a notification on my other device if that was me, and I hit yes. However, this just keeps thinking there's really nothing going on. You could even try resending it. It still doesn't work so basically you're locked out of this so you can try it a million different ways when this happens the only way you can really get into this phone is if you know the Google account and sometimes you have so many Google accounts that there's really no way around this so now I'm gonna show you guys the Google FRP bypass so I'm gonna show you guys the LG version and then I'll talk about the Samsung version in a few minutes so this time we're going to do the same exact thing. So for the FRP bypass to work, we're going to go ahead and start the step right here. And we're going to hit next. And right when it's getting the updates right here, turn off your Wi-Fi. So if you need to be near your Wi-Fi router or you want to be on your phone. And what I did is I basically turned off the hotspot right on the spot if you guys saw that or if you're near your router unplug it from power and then instead of getting that other warning and now I get information here to type in for the correct time on my screen and then what you want to do is go ahead and turn on your Wi-Fi back on and 
before you hit next, my Wi-Fi is turned back on. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And hit accept. Make sure your Wi-Fi is connected right there. You can see my Wi-Fi is connected. And you want to go ahead and set up a new uh, pin number. So I've gone ahead and set up a new pin number. I'm going to hit OK. Once the pin is set, go ahead and restart the phone. Once you went ahead and changed the pin number on here, go ahead and restart the phone. And now I'm going to go ahead and punch in the pin that I put in here. So my pin number is typed in. And this is the pin number that I set. And instead of connecting to my phone now, this time I'm actually going to go ahead and connect to the home internet here since it's a lot faster. So now I've gone ahead and typed in the password for my home internet. I'm going to hit next. It's going to do that same exact update, but this time I have the password. Since I set it, don't copy. And you can skip. Skip. Go ahead and sign through all of this and check that out. Just want to show you guys the home screen here. I'm going to skip all this and I'm going to hit exit and agree to this. There you guys go. You are through all the Google security features and if you have a Samsung device when you first go through and you disable the internet on the very first screen it's going to have an option basically where it says the Google privacy policy and if you hang on to any letter on that screen what you can do then is you could do a search and under search you go through and you delete all the data and you do a four stop on the wizard and then you go ahead and restart the phone. And again, now that you have went ahead and uh, deleted the data and the PIN number from the phone, it will allow you to go through the actual process. So it was really that easy. And the best part is your phone is unlocked and you got it to work now. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you guys want to know how to do the hard reset, I'll have a video linked down below on how to do that as well. Thanks again, guys.